Thank you. This just in, an unarmed rocket launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base last night exploded just seconds after lifting off. Vandenberg Space Force Base officials say they are looking into what caused the rocket to explode. KSBY's Erin Fay has been following the latest developments and she joins us live from the newsroom and has more on what happened. Erin? Good morning, Neil. The Space Force officials say the Minotaur 2 Plus rocket exploded approximately 11 seconds after the 1101 liftoff from Test Pad 1. Several people on social media reported hearing the explosion, but the base had not given a specific time for the launch, so it was not immediately clear what happened. Vandenberg says no one was injured and that the debris was confined to the launch pad area on the end of Rhea Road on the base. However, the explosion sparked a fire on the northern part of the base that was producing smoke into the early morning hours. Officials have not confirmed if the fire had been contained. The launch was scheduled to be the first test supporting development of the new MK-21A reentry vehicle for the Air Force. Prior to the launch, officials said the reentry vehicle would be used on a ballistic missile, described as being not just new, but quote, a fully integrated launch, flight and infrastructure system with modern command and control features. Both are being developed by the Air Force Nuclear Weapons Center. Among other things, Vandenberg said the launch was planned to help demonstrate early design concepts in operationally realistic environments. Base officials said smoke from the fire was not in immediate danger to other parts of the base. Live in the newsroom, Aaron Fay, KSBY News.